Hi, I'm Blake from BA Electronics. And in front of me I have some different types of storage drives. Some hard drives, some flash drives, some SSDs, or one SSD, one flash drive, another hard drive here. And as you saw from the title of this video, we're going to be testing one of these to see just how fragile they are. And I'm also going to be explaining the differences between these types of storage drives. So first, I'm going to explain the differences, then we'll go on to the impacts. So the first type of storage drive that I'll be explaining is the HDD, or hard drive, or hard disk drive. I have a few different types of them here. This one is probably the oldest one here. This is a 60 gigabyte Samsung SpinPoint drive. And these two are laptop hard drives. This one's a 160, and this one's a 250. And then this one's a uh, Caviar Blue 500 gig in here. Uh, it's just in this enclosure. This will be our testing enclosure for the different drives. And how a hard drive works is there is a spinning platter inside of the actual enclosure here. There's a spinning platter, or multiple spinning platters, and a head that waves over them to read the data stored in magnetic bits on the platters. So that's kind of the basic idea of a hard drive. Now, the downside of hard drives is they are very quite fragile. Uh, this one has just a little bit of damage in it, because, I don't know, someone might have dropped the laptop that I was in. I don't know. I didn't own either. I wasn't the first owner of any of these. So, that's hard drives. They are cheaper than SSDs and flash media. So, mm, kind of depends on storage or speed and reliability. So, it's pretty much hard drives. They're quite complicated machines. So, let's go on to the uh, solid state media. Alright, these are solid state media. The difference between solid state media and hard drives is these have no moving parts inside. Now, you can't really see what's inside this enclosure, but be right here. Now, there's basically just chips on a circuit board that can store information. There's no moving platters or moving heads like in a hard drive or anything like that. They're just chips. Uh, this one has multiple chips. This one's a 128 gigabyte solid state drive, or SSD. And I think there's six chips in this one, three on each side. And in this one, there's only one chip. This is a four gigabyte uh, flash drive, or thumb drive as some people call them. And they normally only have one or two chips in them. They're not really that big. Compared to big solid state drives, you can get these up to like three or four terabytes that have like 10 or 12 chips on them, which is pretty impressive. Chips are not really the same as platters, but they do store information. Platters store magnetically. These just store uh, di digitally. So, in the title of this video, we'll test out, probably going to test out a hard drive because they're quite fragile. So, uh, let's pick one to try and see if they can uh, stay in impacts. So for my testing, I've chose this uh, 250 gigabyte HDD 2J14 Toshiba hard drive. And the reason why I chose this one is because it already has somewhat of damage. And I don't really want to mess with this one because this one is a special one. And, uh, I don't really want to destroy it yet. This one, I don't care about at all. It just has a Windows Vista operating system. I hate Vista. And this one, this one's also kind of special. So, probably don't want to mess with this one either. I'll just, I'll keep the two spin point drives because they're kind of special to me. Generic hard drive here. 
and I'm gonna test it in the enclosure and take the Scorpio blue out. I said caviar blue at the beginning, Scorpio blue. And so I'll take the 500 gig Scorpio out of here and put this one in to like format or whatever. And then we can try and do some tests. All right, it's out. Now, if you didn't notice, this is actually the same testing platform and same drive in the, uh, the Recover a Frozen Hard Drive video, which you can check out here. And I kept it because, well, it's broken. This is still good. This is not. So we'll replace it. And, uh, and I can always just use the spin point drive to replace this. Because spin point's kind of special. Because it has some special technology in it that no other, no other drives have. Click. Alright, drives in. Let's power it up. There it is. Removable media. It shows up as a 250 gigabyte USB external physical disk. It's got 20 gigs of operating system on it. Whatever. Alright. Wow, that was quick. Let's do a, a speed test on it real quick. This uh, will be quite interesting. Oh, that's terrible. Wow, that is... That is terrible. Yeah, so... This thing's definitely not state-of-the-art, but that's okay because it ain't gonna be anything in a few minutes. All right, I got some stuff on it. Let's, uh, let's test it. I'm just gonna play one. It's playing. Yes. That's playing. Alright, that's pretty much it. Whatever that is, uh, we'll find out. So, let's, uh, let's do the first test. Alright, the mini trampoline. Let's start that. Here's the same same drive, and just a kind of a really small drop here. Three, two, one. It was actually way more violent than I thought it would be. Let's go test it. All right, looks like it did it no harm. Yep, okay, that did nothing to it. So, um, let's go do some more. Alright. I can't get up. Alright, this is pretty high. It's about eight feet on the trampoline. Three, two, <laughs> There it is. <laughs> Let's go plug it in. Alright, moment of truth. I got the microphone hooked up so that you can hear the sounds that it makes, if it makes any.
these things can withstand quite a bit of impact when they're turned off. When they're turned on, uh, they're kind of weak. They're not all that strong. So we'll see how much it takes to do to make the heads crash or whatever. It may look like nothing's happening, but oh yeah, something will. Oh my goodness, it's so heavy. <laughs> I don't know what this will do. We'll see, I'm not gonna drop it directly on it so it'll like bounce or whatever. Three, two, one. Bounce off. It did hardly anything. Take two, three, two, one. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Let's go see. So far, looks like hard drives are turned out to be as fragile as you thought. Or as I thought. Hey! Hey, Will! Yep, yeah, this is the thing that's gonna help me break this thing. Hey, Will! Yeah. You're no use to me. Ah. All right. I'm gonna put the hard drive on Lily and uh, make her chase the laser. <laughs> oh, oh, Lily. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Evo. Oh, oh. Yep, get it. Methodology is working. All right, come on, Lil. <laughs> come on, come on, Lily. Lily, come on, get it, get it, get it. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> Such a weirdo dog. <laughs> Same hard drive, same test. That buzzing noise again. Stop buzzing. Stop buzzing. Stop. Stop. 
I'm not cheating. I am not cheating. This is not being played from my local machine. I'm telling you, it's not, not cheating. These things are very strong. <laughs> wow. So, maybe I shouldn't be so crazy about hard drive safety anymore. Do not trust me on this, but just my experience. Still buzzing, but that's not a problem since it's working. So, <laughs> that's kind of cool and having fun at the same time. So, I'm gonna keep this hard drive. Probably replace this one. RIP 2008-2016. Alright, bye. <laughs>